The Whiskey Brothers podcast is intended for an adult listening audience. If you find yourself easily offended, I guarantee this will do it. They don't want no problem. Nah. From Houston, Texas. The Whiskey Brothers podcast starts now. Welcome to the Whiskey Brothers podcast, everybody. Episode 752, Slade, Rob, Trey, joined by Grady Pruitt. It's that simple. We have whiskey in front of us. You know, I just realized, I don't think we introduced Grady last time. Yeah, we did. I'm a a pro, Rob. I even got his Twitter handle out there. Oh, okay. Uh, Yeah, you were asleep. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, from the vaults of lore dot com, vaults, vaults of lore dot com, dot com studios. We're we're a sound effect uh, company. Oh, yeah. Trey, did you? You're not drinking with us this episode. I'm done. Right. I, I'm good. Guys. I don't know what we're drinking. I believe we've got some crown. We had a big handle of crown down there, so we're just sort of uh, mm-hmm. drinking lots of it. If you want to send us a bottle, that's something you can do. Email us podcast at praisewhiskey dot com, or just hit us up on the Facebook page. We'll get you an address. Tell you how to send a bottle. Our way. Uh, you can even call Specs. Put it on your card. We'll just go pick it up. Lots of options. Uh, lots of stuff to get to. Uh, oh, I, yeah. Uh, what? That no, was smooth. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Why Why you sound so rough when you when, when things are supposed to be smooth? Yeah, it was smooth. Did you see the uh, the article? Uh, we must have been sent this thing by 30 different people, so I don't even know who to attribute it to. Uh, okay. the, the Tide Pod. Oh, the, yeah. Was it Tide Pod Glenn, Glenn Livett or someone? One of these I've scotches. What's oh, oh, check this out. So they put out. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've been sent I probably think 10 times. It. So it's people. Glenn Livett. They, oh. They're. It's, I think, some sort of very cellophane seaweed. Yeah, it's sort of, it's like a seaweed. You know, it's, it dissolves as soon as you put it in your mouth. And I'm assuming it's a one ounce. Yeah, it's like a uh, like a Listerine uh, strip. Oh, it's okay. like terrible grandma candy. So <laughs> <laughs> some shit, some shit your grandma you know, gets you. Like a Werther's Originals yeah. with. Oh, hey, Werther's yeah. Originals good. Dude, they're the best. The yellow box. They're the best. Fuck you, they're good. Box. Yeah, the box. Bag. That That's how old this is. No, no, bag. No, what are the, what's the one with the, the yellow box? Toblerone? No. What you- the Werther's. <laughs> they they, they, they listed three things me and you are so lost on. Yeah. They, they're like, <laughs> okay, what? One, Toblerone is candy the- everywhere. You just yeah, don't it's leave. It's $19 in a hotel room. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, but are you thinking of Caramello? No, what's that old timey box looking thing? Looks like the font from the old uh, uh, Family Feud. Uh, you know? <laughs> like, like a cigar box? No, it's not. A, it's a fucking white. It's a yellow, the, yellow what? box, and they got all the different varieties of candy in there. Oh, those th- like the Russell Stover stuff. Well, no, M and M's. No, you're talking like my you, old grandma used to have. She'd have them all the time. No, those were the cookies in the tin. No, Some that's wrong. You're wrong. What, you're wrong. What candy? God damn it! I'll look it up. Hey, Fuck you I'm lost. I'm lost, too. I'm completely. Don't turn to me. Shit right. come in boxes was, can, was candy invented when you had a grandmother? I don't even know, but this motherfucker's describing a briefcase. <laughs> we are confused. <laughs> so with a box, has got a lift on it. That, what is, are you talking like a Valentine's Day box of candy with the assorted right chocolates? This motherfucker don't know. He has no idea. He's, he's going to pull up some shit he made at the house. He's Googling chocolate. But he's gonna, you're going to get nothing but Forrest no. Gump quotes. There it is. It's Russell Stover. Those That's big what, yellow boxes. Yeah. Did, did, yeah. Do you might want to check the tape where I you said Russell Stover. Russell Stover. Okay. Said, All right. Well, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what it's called. Okay. I had to look it up. That okay. big yellow box. Russell Stover. And okay. That's, yeah. That's awesome. Forty dollars. <laughs> that's your motherfucking mind. <laughs> damn, forty dollars for no chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> this bitch better come with an orgasm. I'm not for the fuck. That's the only forty dollars chocolate I'm paying but that, for. That's not it's a, a giant sampler. That's not a Werther's original. That's forty fun. ounces of chocolate. Yeah. Is it forty ounces of chocolate? Yeah. It's a dollar an ounce. <laughs> it's a lot of Dude, chocolate. So this uh, just uh, and the they word, got all the flavors in the it. The word ounces great. made me think of something. So, <laughs> so this is this is this is girl. I'll bite. And her, her her sisters had a baby, and the baby's like premature. It was like born like too many weeks early, mm-hmm. and uh, it was born one pound two ounces, right? Ooh. So then it like gained weight. It was like one pound eight ounces. So then she goes. Yeah, and then he lost weight. So I started fucking crying laughing. Because oh, I'm thinking she's going to tell me the baby's eight ounces. I'm like, oh, no, they got a cup of water for a baby. That's <laughs> a cup of little water. Little liquid man in this bitch. <laughs> oh, oh they got God. a cup of water. <laughs> it's just small coffee baby. A little molecule Malik in this bitch. <laughs> like, yeah, fucking. I was like, how the fuck? <laughs> It, it turns out he was just like a pound even. I was like, yeah. this is fucking sad. <laughs> <laughs> fucking tiny ass. What do you feed it? <laughs> Steroids. That's all they give it. They get it. Some Barry Bonds juice. Krill. Yeah. <laughs> <I think. laughs> 
<laughs> That's all it can do. Yes. I don't even fucking know. You got to give them air. Tadpoles. They just set the yard, this motherfuckers. <laughs> That's what when they're not even cute babies. You know, they're just yeah, a, bro, they're they're no s- such thing stick oh, babies. As a cute, know? premature baby. No. I'm so, it's like, Oof. it's not. They don't have all their shit yet. No. You're like, bro, he got to get some more skin before we, we can call him cute. That- what was that? What was that story I think we had a few years ago about the girl who had a premature baby, but it was like four pounds, five ounces, oh, full head of hair. <laughs> like, fuck. Oh yeah, it's premature. <laughs> we didn't fuck then when I thought, baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Came out with fucking full set of teeth and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tattoo. <laughs> Just like her daddy. Yeah, that's my biggest. Fr- I'm never having a kid. I got too many flaws. Yeah, like I got. It's just yeah, and then I can't. You worried about karma? Wanna, it ain't even. Nah, I don't give a fuck about no motherfucking karma. I don't believe in that shit. I mean, you know, it's whatever. Like, so I, I'd like happen. to be like a distant dad. You know, like, oh, yeah. like I don't live in the same state. I you know had, what I mean? Let me tell you. Let right. me tell you that this this dead serious. I had a uh, I had a girl. Um, I won't. I won't. Nobody would know who she is. Boo anyway. boo doo doop. She. Uh, we, we 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 were we were on and off. Anyway, the uh, she wanted me. To be like an absentee father, yeah. she was like she wanted the genetics uh-huh. and no involvement, er, sure. no obligation whatsoever. Ooh. And it was this very. Like, I'm your man. No, it was. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, too heavy. It was very d- d- tempting. I think. I would like, like that. that sort of. Yeah. But then there's no, and, and she would have made. I mean, I she. It, yeah, it would have no, been. It would have been. A, there's a was, kidney out there for you somewhere. Yeah. Right. A little sure. donor. I didn't think about it in terms of a donor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, also, I, but you got to write up a contract, like you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm mean, using writing man. that this is what you want. Yeah. yeah it's a. Uh, I don't want nine once. months from now, like getting a fucking bill. No, 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 no. Shit. Uh, it's like that's one. Stay the fuck away. That's no. That's the one. I feel like it. It, it, that's like the one instance like I totally mm-hmm. trust that that wouldn't have been the yeah there would have been no fuckery there yeah. I'm so I, I know for, yeah so built to be a bad father like, I got <laughs> all the qualities <laughs> to not be there for that motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> like you know what I mean like that's my best trait but there ain't no shit you can leave with when you date yeah. <laughs> like I like bitch I guarantee you you will struggle alone <laughs> if I get you pregnant <laughs> ain't no bitch really looking for that you know what I mean like, Certainly not up but front. That's no. my best shit. Yeah. Like, I'm like, bitch, you talk about apathy. <laughs> yeah, it's not a first date. I'll leave you at that <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> like, hell yeah. <laughs> Were you crying at night? This is so hard. I wish I had help. You'll have me on your mind. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to write R&B songs about me. That's Hell how bad yeah. I am. Oh, my. I'm a blues song waiting yeah. to happen. But you know what's yeah. fucked up? Like, somehow the kid will end up liking you more because, you know, he talked to you on the phone for 30 minutes. Yeah. Or something, and he just, His only interaction just with you is it. It. non-conflict. My dad really cares. <laughs> I ain't lying. I take that moment. Yeah, because the mom's going to be the one yelling at him oh, and shit. Yeah. And yeah. You, you never said anything mean in that take 23 minutes you gave that show up, <laughs> take him to a baseball game every seven years. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till I'm 14. I'm going to go root for the Strohs with my daddy. <laughs> and then he builds you up as like this mythical oh, legend. Yes, you know? exactly. <laughs> yes. My daddy's the shit. You know? Yes, and the more that evil single mother says about you, the better. It's a <laughs> he ain't going to know you ain't shit till he's 35 and he got a kid of his own. He's like, damn. <laughs> motherfucker took the easy route, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, harden the motherfucker, pops, goddamn. <laughs> or when he goes to your funeral and sees the other six you popped out. Oh, that's hell yeah. <laughs> That's the most interesting shit. That's split for the money. Bro, that, you don't want to divide a family. Don't write a will. That's the best way to oh, split everybody. I've no. seen oh, some yeah, yeah, evil yeah. shit go down mm-hmm. uh, without having that motherfucker will, but. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't. I, when my dad, we, there was, I just went, "Fuck it, I'm you not said, even." Fuck it. I, yeah, I'm not. Let it say what it says. I don't even want. To, I don't even want to read it. We're six kids in the family, so yeah. Was a, yeah. damn. And it, yeah. where you fall at? I'm the oldest. Oh shit! You should have been off. No, he probably should have. See that first? That's how you know. Cause like I know I'm the resentment baby. Like, I stole all my daddy dreams. Like, you know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. he, he put all his shit to the side. So I don't even want to know what my cut is. My, my, my cut might just be a diary. You go get a charge. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, go get a, get a, yeah. you go get an invoice. Hell yeah. I'm going to get a journal of how I, he really felt. I got like a really rich uh, aunt and uncle. Like, they started yeah. their own insurance company. And uh-huh. they have one son. And uh, <laughs> uh, he ended up his whole life, like, worked for the family business, like, straight edge, has a family of his own. 
when he's like 45 years old, this is my cousin, he just decided, like, I'm going to do a lot of heroin. <laughs> strong. He got hooked on heroin and oh, then, shit. like, ended up, you know, leaving the family and everything like that and then lost all his money and then held up his parents, my and uncle, at gunpoint. Oh, my God. Point. And like robbed him because he Fuck. wanted money for heroin and everything like that. So I'm like, so, so he's out of the will, right? <laughs> <laughs> did, did I did I tell you the okay. story of uh, the gig the guy got offered in Canada while I was there? The gig? Uh, to do the funeral? No. Did I not tell this story? No, I've this done is, a funeral okay, too. No. So <laughs> this, uh, my, uh, God, I'm trying to remember his name now. My feature uh, when I was in Toronto. Roberto. No, good dude. He was, uh, God damn it. He was on uh, New Faces this past year. Anyway, uh, good egg. He gets a call for a gig and he goes, hey man, he goes, uh, he goes, I want you to listen to this with me. He goes, I don't know what's about to happen. He goes, but it's a gig at a funeral. And I go, okay. So he puts it on speakerphone and he's calling. It's this lady and he goes, uh, so, uh, so I'm calling about the gig. It's at a funeral. And she goes, yes. Um, I've heard that some comics are good at um, making jokes about other people and maybe <laughs> shining light on darker matters. And he, she's very deliberate. Yeah. He goes, he goes, okay. Uh, well, when? First of all, what's the date? And before he even gets the money, yeah. what's the date? And she goes, well, to be determined. <laughs> and he goes, what? She goes, it's for my funeral. And he goes, I'm sorry, what? Oh, Long story God. short. This bitch wanted him. She's going to invite everybody that's done her wrong to the funeral. Uh -huh. Give him a list of them and what the information is. And he's going to have them all make them feel horrible oh about her death. God. Did you get this gig? Oh, he's, 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 he, he, he has to call her back. I don't what? know. Uh, I would say yes. Yes. He said that they were, they were supposed to set up a meeting. I don't know uh -huh. how it all went. That uh, is that not a dream gig? Yeah. That is a very lonely bitch. <laughs> 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 is the most bitter hole of all bitter holes. <laughs> she sounded so by herself. Oh God! <laughs> it was an echo when she was doing that shit. <laughs> to be to be announced, announced, announced. <laughs> the fuck is she even here. sick or is she just? That's playing? what she. She's, he goes. He goes. Well, do you have do you have some sort of time frame and he's trying not to be insensitive and she goes well i've been sick in bed all week and she has like four different kinds of cancer uh -huh. i mean it's yeah. she's got oh okay she kind of was oh, listening okay. to them. Uh, there was they were there but it's also she didn't have a it wasn't like tuesday it was yeah yeah it was I'm a very I'm awkward dude but i don't had, know when yeah i, I don't know about you can get a phone call me like 20 years from now <laughs> <laughs> wait wait hold on wait what <laughs> yeah, yeah. she's like well i'm 33 yeah. <laughs> God, damn. i plan on retiring yeah. at 56 but i'm gonna do some hiking so anything could happen yeah. <laughs> like, yeah i'm going to make a lot of enemies for the next 20 yeah. years <laughs> <laughs> i did a funeral though did you i did a funeral in in louisiana i did my family reunion like my dad Went out there bragging. <laughs> he was like, "Yeah, my son's a comedian." I'm like, "I'm not good." Oh, and that's I, an and, awful thing. Yeah, you can't terrible. let that happen. And then the family. I did a was magic like, show at a family reunion when I was like eight, yeah. and then those motherfuckers made us dress up like California raisins oh. and dance <laughs> oh and sing that song. <laughs> we were white as shit. Anyway, yeah, they had me fucking do that shit. Like, yeah, tell some jokes, and I went up, and it went fine. But then somebody was there and was like, hey, we got a funeral tomorrow. You mind showing up and doing the funeral? And I was like, what do they uh, expect you to do? I don't know. They was like, we'll give you $300. I was like, just tell me what time Done. and I'll be there. Yeah. So I go and it's like outside. Like at the, yeah. like the cask is there. So the guy's praying and then he just goes, so. You're doing this at the burial site? Yeah. Oh, uh, so then they go, uh, we got a comedian here. Uh, no, he said, it says here we got a comedian? And I was like, yeah, I'm right here. He was like, y'all go ahead and show us some love as the young brother comes up. And they clap. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just go on stage and be like, yeah, so people mistake me for being African. I just, <laughs> <laughs> just doing your shit. <laughs> just do your own act. Uh, uh, no, and no one Everyone's knows you. Like, like the oh, fiddle, no one is. Is this a random guy? Is this a grandkid? Is this a grandkid? <laughs> Brady, what the fuck is this I motherfucker? Fucking lie it. How long did you do? I did seven it's, it's minutes. Like, 
It's this not even only, a black family. This, <laughs> Granny, this the only reason I stopped. I, I had them going for a good moment, and then <laughs> they're all Chinese. Then, yeah. It was a dude in the front that go, "This ain't the time for this shit." <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker, they hide me. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this ain't the time. It's my motherfucking grandmama, dog. <laughs> like, they heard me. I was like, well, that's my time, everybody. I got to get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Where my fucking $300, lady? Yeah. Uh, we got to oh take a God. quick break. Uh, we're coming back. We got more stories to tell. Your whiskey brother, oh Rob Trey Slade. We're joined by Grady Pruitt, at Pruitt Grady on social. Uh, go join our Patreon. Send us bottles of whiskey. Email us. Find us on Facebook. We really do want you to be part of what we're doing. Lots of cool stuff right around the corner. Question, comment, just need to vent, email us at podcast at praisewhiskey.com. We are back. Wow, we are back. We should have just we should have just run the last 15 minutes of conversation. Slade, Rob, Trey, uh, Grady. Uh the they whole, get group, a whole new us. You doing the breaks. you doing the Christmas show with us December 22nd? I'm down. Let's yeah? do it. Perfect. Yeah. Grady's on the show now. Uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Grady. Slowly filling in the blanks. Yeah. <laughs> Sam should be in town. I'm hoping uh if he can make it happen between ships. Mm-hmm. Trey's gonna be there. I'm gonna be there. Rob's gonna be there. Grady's gonna be there now. Uh December 22nd at the secret group. Yep. Those tickets aren't on sale yet, but I think if you call, they might be able to get you some uh, in Probably advance. I heard November is when they're going to go up. Uh, okay, that'll work. Uh, uh, we are live from the vaults of lore.com. Vaults of lore. God damn it, Rob. You guys Shit. suck. You're the vaults worst. Vaults of lore.com. No, no, it's, now it's, uh, now it's, it's <laughs> fake. It's not real. It's not authentic. I'm yeah, sure Mike is. knows. Um, go check out the book. Vaults of lore.com is a, uh, it's a website that is your portal to uh, one man's uh, fantasy world that he's created. So uh, yeah. go ch- and I'm, I'm a I'm a big fantasy fan, so I'm kind of digging in myself. Uh, go check out the site, kind of get involved. You can also find him uh, you, interactive. You know what I just realized the 22nd is the day right after our weekend in hyenas. Yes, yeah, so I'm coming. You're with. You're there. Yeah. So uh, let's. Uh, we're, we're coming straight back in and doing the show. Yeah, hundred percent. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so- Oh, you're, great. You are correct. I forgot. I will be at Hyenas in Plano. I thought that was valuable to add. That is. That is. Uh, well, it is It is because it's... I it's did you just tell them that? It, if, if you get a chance to see us live, you should. This show's yeah. coming out on Friday. It means you still got another chance. Uh, two shows tonight. Yeah. Two shows on Saturday to come see me and Trey in El Paso. Yeah. And if you haven't seen... Dude, uh, when we do live shows, when Whiskey Brothers <laughs> fans show up, uh, and I'm talking to you, Louisville. I'm talking to you, Ottawa. I'm talking to you, Toronto. I'm talking. I could talk to a lot of uh, Minnesota. Uh, you go to these different venues, and these people show up, and they're there for one show. So for them, they want to do four shots with you. Yeah. And oh, right. you oh, have shit. other shows to do. So if you're a Whiskey Brothers uh-huh. fan and you're coming out to the El Paso shows, come to the Late Show. Uh, I yeah. can't. It's impossible to right. drink. Everything you want us to drink mm-hmm. before the sh- before the night's over. So <laughs> we ain't give it a shot, and we will, and we will. Yeah. But it's a it's a come to the late show if you're around El Paso. I'll be there. Trey will be there. You get to see stand up. You get to hang out. You get yeah. to have drinks. And, and if we- y'all know any uh, diseased Mexican. I want to talk to them. <laughs> no, diseased. I've heard it got a lot of diseased Mexican pussy in El Paso. I've heard. These are things I've read. Where, 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 where did you read where, this? What, what is your news source? I've been, you know, I've been, because I've never been anywhere. I know. So I'm looking up El Paso. <laughs> I found out how close it is to Mexico. Uh-huh. That was a shocker. Okay. Um, I didn't. What's the furthest you've driven? Like, literally from time. the club, you can see Mexico from the club. From the roof, be, yeah. yeah. People have said this, like it's literally like on the other side of a freeway or some shit yeah. like that. Well, yeah. yeah, I'm interested to see that. River, uh, if there's the, some diseased Mexican pussy. I would like to talk to this person. Okay, because uh, medical shit is cheap in Mexico, <laughs> so they should have that shit cured up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get like a root canal for like eight dollars. Yes. <laughs> Did you just tell Mexicans they should go? You to could Mexico to two get- Wendy's Fofo deals. <laughs> you can get your motherfucking root canal done. <laughs> get that shit canaled up. So, this is you're gonna go to the border. I want to go and get and tell Mexicans they should go back to Mexico to get their vaginas looked at. Yeah, because I heard it's a lot of disease. It just it's one of the things where it doesn't make sense to you. You're like, how the fuck? How they got all this disease? You know, pussy you can't here. cure and some of these things, right? <laughs> all right, look, Rob. Whatever. It's supposed to be the curable shit, like okay. gonorrhea and uh-huh. shit that you're supposed to just take like penicillin for. Okay, but uh, apparently that's not the case in El Paso. And you read this where? Did we it gloss was, over uh, that? The El Paso Times? <laughs> <laughs> the El Paso Times. 
That's a horrible job of selling their city. Yeah. <laughs> I like no. It's I on a postcard. Yeah. I'm just I gonna Google him. that right quick. <laughs> I read it earlier today, Rob. I don't know, it's probably gone. Uh, yeah. You know what? It was a white. Fact. It's on like I their big sign as you're it? driving in, like El Paso. Okay, there is something STDs. called the El Paso like, Times. There of is course. Something. Oh, yeah. shut your mouth. Is it like a coffee yeah. house news? I don't know. Hey Google, what's the STD rate in El Paso? Ha. Yeah. Yeah, she ain't got no answers. Fuck that. There's too many Mexicans. She's talking. Sh- More than 7,600 new STI cases in the last year. That's all I'm saying. That's a lot. Yeah, of, brand that's new. A, there you go. So I'm I'm not, you know. I think right. I'm going to have a problem staying faithful to the ladies. <laughs> you got so You're that's why I was looking that's up how, that's how you got in the, That's how you got in the situation in the first place. That's you going to come back to Houston with another wife? You're going to have two blacks and a Mexican? Is that what you're going for? It's not that. I just got a journey that I, you know what I mean? <laughs> Dude, the fuck like a fucking OG Mexican chick. That's, I mean, that's got to, you know. You will have, my tri- you'll have triplets before you leave El Paso. Man, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I ain't going to do You're that. You're going to have thing. triplets, syphilis, and gonorrhea. So you think. Mm-hmm. Before you leave El Paso. So your whole fertile. goal was to go to Mexico or to get a, a, a disease riddled th- chick? I, that, this is the thing. I just want a bunch of stories to tell my kids one day. I see. The kids you're not going to have? Yeah. We've already talked about this too. All right. Well, I'm going to borrow some kids. I'll go adopt. Or whatever. I just want to tell my niece some dope one ass stories. One segment away. One segment ago. He's not having no children. No kids. Now I'll he's going to a middle school star, you know. Yeah. <laughs> rounding like, them up. Just, you know? just be like, come here, guys. Yeah. I you know what I did. You can either yeah. fight or you I can tell you a story. I did in my 20s. <laughs> you tried to be the drunk I retard? A, I took a gamble. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to be the drunk <laughs> retard at the park, getting pushed on the swing in exchange for El Paso pussy stories. <laughs> No, I don't know. I read that, but uh, sure, sure. In the El Paso true. Times, Paso Times. I guess yeah, it's yeah. not true. <sighs> what, brown, it's brown facts. What are you doing <laughs> in El Paso? Oh, I'm doing four shows, five shows, and uh, I'm gonna go find. I'm gonna go find some uh, food. Oh, you gonna take me to see it? Yes. Yeah. I want to see hey, shit. While you're there, you have to go buy uh, Chico Taco. That's the <sighs> the legendary place. Chico Taco. And there's, I think it's L and J Cafe. There's another spot down there yeah. that's badass. Uh, Chico Tacos is legendary. Okay. If yeah. I do that, what about I'm going over the one. border? You know, getting like some weird ass like seedy Damn. prostitutes. It's a, it's what? a. I, so <laughs> no, a, no, no, no prostitutes. But the, uh, I used to cross. I cross over all the time out of McAllen. Um, I just don't know. I've never been down to El Paso, but it's realistically. I mean, you should be able to walk the first hundred to two hundred yards are safe. So you just get some dollar tacos and a couple of beers, yeah. and then walk back do over. Do they it costs, like black people? It costs in a Mexico? quarter. It costs a quarter. Who they cares? Like black people in Mexico, it's, you're fine. You're gonna you're gonna be okay. Yeah. I hate having to travel like that. Like what? Like, like hey, they, they like niggas over there. Like you know what I mean? Like you've never to, traveled. You don't no, have to for travel. some people. Yes, Slade, that's a valid thing. That's a worry that's in my head. I know it's a worry. You're not okay. scared. I was in Arkansas. Don't, don't go to Japan. Oh, some dude <laughs> after our show in Arkansas called Stokes the N word. <laughs> <laughs> but in a good way. <laughs> oh yeah, he didn't understand why like people are kind of upset. <laughs> are you wait? Are you kidding me? Yeah. So you he was guys? Like, no, what you mean? I'm just saying. <laughs> how wait? How did he? Uh, you don't say. But how did he? <laughs> Let me see him do this. I can't. I, it was so like, like, what's it was, the it was like a positive. Like, man, that's a pretty funny show. It was like two like, ear words. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, like, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like, uh, they, they, uh, Sam was, I remember one show and, uh, it was either Brownwood or Midland, Ode- one of them, uh, and Sam, it was the greatest. They said, you're not bad for a colored fella. That might've been Beaumont. <laughs> that might've been Beaumont. That's exactly how it was phrased. Totally meant as a compliment. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. The dude's I face. Fucking, in fact, when, I, uh, when his face wasn't when it when you're Sam's one of the face, good ones. when Sam's face didn't register a big smile mm-hmm. and say thank you, the guy looked a bit sad, <laughs> like he didn't understand. Yeah, I I have a bit about like Damn. turning into a Republican, like like a, a punchline is like I'm a Republican now, and they 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 pretty much made me mayor. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Like they cheered like so hard. It, like, it's that is that is repub- that part of Arkansas particularly is very. Yeah, I yeah, don't mind. Stupid. It. it was like you know, it was what it was just. You know, how do you? But what? Ah, uh, doesn't matter. What's the question? I'm just curious as to how, like, what goes through the mind of a person who says that and doesn't find it offensive. Like, what was the presentation? Well, they 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 have no black people there. Yeah, I, so I know they're, 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 they're mythical. No, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, you're gonna be saying like, <laughs> I hate dragons. Yeah. I'm not gonna see one of those either. <laughs> but but d- 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 like, hey, come here. It, like, what was the? Oh yeah, no, it, it was after the show. We were at a bar. I I, I think he, he bought us a shot or whatever, and he's like, yeah, like that was a pretty funny show, and, you know, <laughs> like. Oh. <laughs> God damn! Did you tell him you're not one? He was talking to. <laughs> st- <laughs> oh, you got to be confused with someone else. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's how white that city is. <laughs> damn, I don't even know what I'd say. I don't no. even know how. I don't even know. I don't know what I'd say because this is the thing. I love compliments so much that, <laughs> oh. I, you're, that you're that insecure. <laughs> like I'd be like, shit. <laughs> Oh. I gotta let that one slide. <laughs> you oh, like the on. show? Go I think Stokes just like shook his head. He's like, "Come on, come man. on, brother." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know you didn't mean that, brother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can see him doing that. Yeah, I can see. Him. Oh man, no, yeah. no. Oh shit. Well, good for them. At least they're uh, you know they're coming to the show and supporting live comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, they're a great audience for me. Like, oh, I, I can't wait it. to go back. You're their leader now. Yeah, yeah. I don't doubt it, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, the mayor of fucking. I felt the mayor, I was like, the mayor yeah, of Cracker like, Town. Is, I look, I look like all their relatives. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> I just, Rob, I how in. often do you disappoint white men? Oh, every day. Like when they find yeah. out, they're like, oh man. Yeah, I sneak into tea party rallies to walk <laughs> among them. I mean, you really could. You could be. Yeah. You could be. You could be. At, you could get by at the Republican National Convention. Oh yeah. You could get by at a uh, at, at a Mason. You look lodge. like the son of most presidents. Like like the like, <laughs> like, like <laughs> motherfucker. You look like most presidents. presidents. Yeah. yeah. You look, you look like you belong crazy, on Rob. a. You belong yeah. on a bill of some sort. <laughs> Right, yeah, there should be a yes. You belong on like a Tobias two. Ebenezer <laughs> Mungle. Yeah, like a two. He didn't do shit. He didn't do shit. Them dumbass jobs. He was an ink holder. Just, just put the little with a, with a feather and a. And yeah. a that's all he did. He placed the shit. There you go. Right there, Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> and he got a he got a sculpture made of himself. That's but right. you, oh, I could. Why wow, you totally should bring back those pants that stop at the knee. Yeah. That's Snickers. oh, that would make me so. It was, the, he was, he was the one that got yes. us out. Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> I bought Idaho from the Navajo. <laughs> <laughs> President Jebediah Ezekiel Mungle. Oh, all right. I don't want this to end, sadly. It's going to be here in a moment. <laughs> um, anything at your you? What are you going to take me to see out there? We're going to go get tacos, bro. That's <laughs> it. Just, we got tacos here. I, yes. We also have Mexicans what would here. You, what, what would you like to do? This is different. What would you like this to do Texas, in, in 30 seconds? What would you like to do? <sighs> I want to see some shit. Like whatever the, whatever the fuck make El Paso dope. Okay. I want to see that shit. So like they got like a little dumbass Capitol building. With little, I like a little history like that. Okay. And then they fought a battle right here. And then three people died. Or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I'll you take know. care. I promise we won't make it boring. We, yeah, that, we, is, that is so far west. They just kind of know the Texas Revolution. <laughs> <laughs> like, like uh, we were part of yeah. that. I think. Yeah, is, I'm not sure. That was I'm 700 not, miles. Uh, not sure what side they're on. Yeah. To me. Yeah, like, that was 700 miles away, and uh, uh, we are going to go do some historical shit, Trey. And uh, I'm going to introduce you to the world one El Paso yeah. at a time. Are, are y'all driving out there? Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be. It's gonna be uh, a rough it's drive. Be, nice. No, it's, it's like ten hours. Mm-hmm. No, I'm talking about just the the land that you're driving across. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I saw, I saw somebody die out there one time. That's a that's a whole different story. Uh, Death is hilarious. It is. We got to get out of here. Grady, thanks for hanging out at Pruitt Grady as always. Uh, if you want to follow him on Twitter, find him on Facebook. You can send messages to us. We'll tell him. Uh, you can also drunk dollars three two three five one zero shot. Yeah. Three two three five one zero seven four six eight. Be part of our Patreon. Yeah. Even a dollar, man. There's like you could just yeah. do a dollar a month. Your way of saying thank you, and then once every three years, we'll buy a bottle from you. Uh, <laughs> the rest of you, we appreciate you. Uh, we are live from the Vaults of Lore. Vaults of Lore. dot com. Vaults of Lore. dot com studios. Uh, go check out the website. Go check out the story. Say hi to Mike if you enjoy what you're reading. That's the quickest way to help him get that published. Uh, Grady, anything you want to say before we go? Um, oh yeah, I want to give a shout out to actually one of, one of your listeners that uh, followed me from here, uh, Jenny. Uh, Jenny, duh, I don't know how to say your last name. Nailed it. Yeah, uh, uh, but no, but wow. Jenny, uh, J- Jenny, like uh, 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 drew me like a picture or whatever. Oh, Jenny yeah, Rodriguez yeah. Dracaris. That's how you. Yeah, that's yeah. how you pronounce it. Yeah, so it's, uh, uh, it's Dragon from. Uh, 
Game of Thrones. Yeah, but uh, she drew me a uh, that means- a Charizard, like the Pokemon. Ah! And everything like that. So she's coming out to a show and giving me that painting. So I appreciate that a she, lot. She's yeah. fantastic. Uh, thanks to all of you who listen. Thanks to all of you who participate. Uh, we're the Whiskey Brothers. They don't want no problem. Nah. Music provided by Scarface. Thank you for listening to yet another excellent episode of the Whiskey Brothers Podcast, the world's funniest podcast ever. The Whiskey Brothers Podcast was made in America by Americans, mostly in and around the Houston area. All content copyright the Whiskey Brothers. This concludes our broadcast day. Goodbye.